So today we're going to be discussing just how easy is it to tell between a fake Rolex and a real Rolex. Really difficult actually. <laughs> We're Clock Bay, I'm Luke. I'm Anthony. And uh, yeah, today we're going to be discussing how easy is it to be uh, to tell a fake Rolex and a real Rolex. It's actually a bit more difficult than we thought it would be, isn't it, really? It's really, really hard. Really, really hard. Uh, I'm going to post up a couple of videos, a bit of B-roll, and I want you to comment down below which one you think is the real one. Is it the Hulk or is it the standard sub? And while you're doing that, Subscribe as well. Yeah, subscribe, press that bell icon so you get to see our latest videos, you get alerted and everything. But yeah, um, post up, see what it is, because I don't think just side by side even, you're, you're just not going to tell, are you really? Unless you really are good. But yeah, put your guesses down below and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. You're at 10 seconds. Yeah. No, I'm not doing a countdown. Right. <laughs> Gone then. No, not really. <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, We've got boxes. One is slightly bigger than the other. Yeah, it's not just the distortion. One's real, is. one's fake. So let's start to actually undo these. So generic box with the Rolex crown on it. It's like a water paper, isn't it, really? Um, this one's got a flap. That one's not got a okay. flap. You've got to actually turn this one upside down. Take it yeah. And it even has the corrugated kind of tissue paper as well. That one has corrugated tissue paper. Well, this one here, you've got a uh, little manual. Little manual. You got manual might be in this one. Yeah, I think it might be in there. But yeah, very very similar. Same same color. Would you say? Sameish color. Yeah. This one's just a little bit darker. A little bit smaller. Rolex crown in the same position. The waves are a little bit more well detailed in this one uh, compared to that one. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. Maybe. Would you yeah. reckon? Yeah. I'll turn it around for you. Yeah. <laughs> you, <can do>, yeah. <laughs> you can't operate a box. So let's open it up. Mine's got a little piece of hide, fake hide, whatever. This might be the little bit of giveaway is the the crappy stickers. This one, no crappy stickers, just a hang tag. It's a hang tag. But hold on, I think there's a hand tag with this one. Oh, is that? Oh, yeah. is that with your papers as well? Is it? So, uh, it's, it's got papers. <laughs> so as you, ha if you haven't guessed it by now, the actual real, uh, the normal sub, uh, non the non Hulk is the fake one. But yeah, lever it with warranty card. There's. I can't believe you've got a warranty card. Imagine trying to put a claim through. A manual. <laughs> There's kind of a brochure there. Here's the hang tag. In fact, let's do a hang tag comparison. That'd be a really nerdy video, wouldn't it? We can compare the hang tag. You can actually tell straight away the uh, the material on this is a little bit thinner compared to that one. The hang tag isn't you as nice. You can tell take away, straight you, away, but if you add that, you, you need this next yeah. to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's even got... Ooh. That's unbelievable. The cheek of it. I just, yeah, it absolutely astounded me. It really did astound me. But yeah, it's just, just unreal. So it really is unreal. Even down to the um, the cushion. Yeah, even the cushions look exactly the same pattern, kind of almost the same quality, not quite as good on the fake one. But I mean, you just wouldn't tell unless you had another one next to each other. So you've got, you've got the actual paperwork with this one as well, haven't you? A little, little bit nicer paperwork. wallet, the actual, the card's a little bit better. Um, exactly the same manual, and I, I mean genuinely exactly the same manual. It it's is scary. It is it's scary. scary. The actual watches, I mean, even right next to each other, you're going to struggle to tell, aren't you? <laughs> On first sight, yeah. There are a few giveaways which we'll go through, but not there's not much at all, especially with the naked eye. I mean, we've, we had to go full macro. I mean, yeah. with the macro tubes and all sorts to get this right, it was, um, mm. it's interesting. Well, should we do the bezel, bezel action? So I'll do the fake one first. It's quite nice, actually. <laughs> it's not awful. It goes you're, nice you're a bezel smooth. deviant, though, so. Nice, nice bezel click. Does fit, does sound a bit nicer, but I, I mean, can you tell? So, so it's both 120 click, right? Yeah, they've got the exact same amount of clicks. They both feel pretty positive. But the first <laughs> giveaway really is when you hold them 
next to each other, uh, like when you've got them in your hand and not on the cushion, there's a weight difference, isn't there? Slight, I mean, we don't have the yeah. scales to see exactly what it is. So this, if you, yeah. So if you, the fake one's got a I fake. Know, I don't know about the weight. It's just a. It, it just feels. It, it just doesn't feel as good quality. But if you didn't have one to compare it to, you you could be quite easily fooled. Now, what's brought it up on the macro that makes it a bit more obvious is just the finisher things, um, the finisher hands, which is yeah. that's that's the biggest giveaway. Is the, is the it's the hand. But again, if you, if you look at a naked eye, eye, you cannot see that whatsoever. You can't see it at all with no. a naked eye. You can't see it at all. It's then the finishing, so like the actual divots in the gnarling of the bezel. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot nicer on the real one. It's just more um, crisp. I think that's yeah. the word crisp. Crisp. Yes. Yeah. Same with the, the the gnarling on the crown. Um, and obviously, when you undo this and you go to wind it or change time, you. <laughs> It's, your, it's a little bit. Yours goes backwards. Yeah, the this fake one goes, it backwards. goes backwards. So when you when yeah, you go to change thing. your time, <laughs> you, you run it clockwise. It goes the other way. Yeah. So that's kind well, of a big tell. Not but so, if you didn't know, no, you would. Um, you will not. You're not going to be able to tell. You just need one kind of almost next to it, or you're going to have to look really closely with a loop. With a loop, you'll be able to tell the finishing on uh, basically everything. So the apparent white gold markers around the hour markers. Um, they are. Are they painted on? And they're painted on. Painted in on. On that, they're just silver chrome in the actual. Do you mean in the, on the dial? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The hour markers, they're just like it's just chrome, polished chrome or polished steel. Whereas they're white gold, so there's a slight different color difference. Um, but again, when they're next to each other, you just don't know. One of the biggest giveaways, apparently, yeah, well, for Rolexes in the past, because you used to, I mean, when you had a fake Rolex five years ago. Ten years. Oh yeah, ago. they would have just fallen apart. The biggest giveaway yeah. was that it used to tick because most of these used to be quartz. Yeah, you didn't get the Rolex sweep. But this um, has got a hacking movement in it. Well, that's got. I think looking at the movement, quick set that, well. it, it looks like a fake ETA. It is a. It that's is a fake. It, that's it is what it looks like. It's not just an ETA. Movement. I think it's a Chinese fake copy ETA. But one of the biggest giveaways that people say is the text on the um, inside the Cyclops on the date wheel. You can't no. really. Uh, and and until you get on the macro, even the actual Cyclops magnification, which is what two and a half times, which is yeah. what Rolex one, these look identical. They look identical. And again, you have to zoom right into the print on the actual date wheel to notice that the, the fake one's a little bit lacking, isn't it? I mean, it really is quite lacking. The actual print of the dial on that is terrifyingly close to that. Even, yeah. even when it comes to the kerning between the spacing, yeah, with uh, it, the, of the letters, it's spaced it's... exactly right. The only um, the thing that I really noticed actually, but only after looking at it for a long while, is the Rolex crown with the you know the triangle twelve hour marker. It's a little bit fatter, was it? No, the, no, no, no. The crown was just that ever so slightly wonky, and that was it. Um, <laughs> that, like, that, that, that's that, all I could tell with the naked eye. Um, that's someone's Moody Friday watch that was. If I oh, saw that, that'll do. Yeah, so but no, there's a good um, chance that you'll probably get one of these that it's all dead straight um but the text so like submariner and a uh, superlative chrominator uh, official blah de blah de blah on the bottom Go on, um, I'm, I'm, enjoy not gonna, I'm, I'm enjoying it i can't read um, <laughs> but all of that until you put that under macro it all looks fine but under macro it starts to fall apart a little bit but not by a great amount and uh, genuinely i think the only way you can tell if that was fake is by having it next to a real one we did a test actually yesterday if you follow us on our instagram yeah if you don't follow us um but we put a picture of your old um my my five digit your pre maxi yeah. against the maxi and uh the maxi no turned out to be fake None of you experts picked it up. Yeah, no one's picked up that that was a fake one, which is it's kind of mad. Then the second thing was the finishing on the clasp. So like you got the little Rolex crown on the on the flip over clasp, and uh, it doesn't overlap as much as it does in the real. No, it's pretty shit finished as well. But obviously, you we'll show you that on the uh, on the macro, um, and then the actual brushed finishing on the lugs. Um, again. It looks fine in real life. It the really case, does the look case, fine. The cases, I, I don't want to say identical, but the They are identical is... sizes. And they almost look identical finishing until you put it under macro. And then you can see there's just thingy. It just it, it just kind of falls apart on the fake one. But my biggest issue is the bracelet fit. This bracelet fit. Is what do you mean crap. by the, the lugs or? Yeah, just there's a slight bit of movement in, in both sides. Just a, bit of play. just a little bit of play. Can you see that? Whereas yeah. that's completely solid. Whereas that's completely solid, and it 
it just sits a little bit wonky. The the actual tolerances are a little bit much, and that then that then transforms over the back. When you have a look on the case back, where those end links, yeah. because of it's on the back, they don't seem to care about it that much. So the finishing on the back of this is just atrocious on the end links. The biggest it just looks away. like it's been nibbled away by a beaver or something. <laughs> it may have been, it may have been. But the, the tolerances, when you touch on tolerances, when you actually open up the clasp on that, this is silky smooth. Whereas that, you need to pry it open with a hammer. Yeah, it's, it's it's pretty stiff. The whole bracelet's pretty stiff because obviously those tolerances, they're not going to be spending a great deal of money on those. But they've, they've got screws going through. It's not just the pull pulls, pull pulls, pull pulls, pull pulls. Um, push push system on the actual, yeah. you know, when you resize it. This has even got, got the glide lock as well, by the way. So you just, you pull that out and slide it up and down, but it, it feels a bit gritty. Whereas that, like butter. Smooth silk, yeah. Yeah, like butter. Um, but again, and, and unless you felt one, unless you, I know we said it before, <laughs> that it sound, the risk of sounding like a, a broken record, you need to have a real one next to you to be able to tell. I if mean, you was buying this over the internet on eBay or something, and someone put it up at a very reasonable price, say five and a half, until you crack the back open, it's going to be tough to tell. You could almost get stung by this, and that is what is incredibly worrying. Um, in real life, if you spent a long time of it and really looked at it closely, especially under a loop, you'll start to realise very get, quickly. They are getting better and better, though. That's the scary thing about the fakes. They are getting this better is the cheap better. one. The bloke offered me three different types. So this is the cheap one. Then there was one that he said was pretty much identical, even under mag magnification. And then they did another one, which was basically for insurance purposes, which is, he said, <laughs> is incredibly identical. But and that the, is so scary. I mean, the, this is close. This is this is too close for comfort already. And on it's the, the older cheapest ones one as well, the, the older fakes, you used to be able to tell with a rehaul, it used to be ever slightly beveled in the wrong way, but this is... Um, yeah, rehaul is, is uncanny. Even the finishing inside the rehaul is completely fine. Uh, what you do kind of notice when you put next to each other is the bezel. Um, so you've got platinum um, inside the actual numbers on there. And the is numbers platinum are platinum or white gold? gold? Is it platinum? It's on platinum, this. yeah. It's dusted it? with platinum. Okay. So uh, the fake kind of lacks a little bit of lustre uh, with that. But even the loom looks identical as well. And it's just, oh, I, I just, I genuinely can't believe how good this is. Good in the in the sense of good copy. Not, yeah, not, good copy, not, not, yeah. Not, not, not to say everyone, go and buy a fake, don't bother buying Rolexes. But it, it, no, it that's kind bollocks. of... bollocks, yeah. That, that, yeah, it doesn't matter how good it is. It could be completely... Like you could never tell, even under magnification, even if you opened up the case back, and it still wouldn't be a good idea to go and buy a fake Rolex. Just don't do it. I mean, I've I've thought about actually taking this out, haven't I? Um, we were Just we to went see. to go and see Nick at Fears on his pop up shop when he did an event, and I was going to wear it that evening, and I couldn't bring myself to it uh, to do it. It's. Um, I just, I don't know, it'd feel horrible. Always buy the real one, save up for it. If your budget's not but that's, there, that's the issue. That brings it. a whole different issue now. You'd always yeah. say to people, go and, buy, go and buy a new one. It's fine, just go and buy the real thing. You won't feel good. But that's the issue. You can't go and buy them now. You can't. I know why people do it. I do know why people do it, but I feel dirty every time. I oh, yeah, yeah, it feels horrible. And um, I genuinely cannot wait to destroy it. And, and that's another thing. Drop a comment below. How would you like to see this watch destroyed? We've got a few ideas. We've we? got a few ideas, but let's see what you think. But this is this is not much longer for this world. It is going to get <laughs> destroyed. Um, so, yeah, if you want to see it done in a, your own special way, drop a comment and uh, maybe we might do it your way. On another note as well, one of the main things, again, you cannot see this without macro but Rolex have in the bottom of the crystal they have the crown that's etched in or laser cut ah oh, yeah and again on older fakes they never used to do it and, and then I've noticed this online so someone on one of the Facebook groups actually this week um, said oh how can I tell whether this is fake or not first of all if you're asking you know it's fake it's, it's obvious <laughs> it's fake um, but so, a few people actually commented saying, have a look for the Rolex crown etched into the sapphire at six o'clock. Well, uh, this fake has it, and it has it done quite well, actually. The only, I reckon the only thing is they've gone too big with it. It's almost to say, it's almost like kind of a... It's a bit more noticeable without macro. I can almost pick it up using our softbox lights, um, whereas that's a lot more difficult to pick up. But the thing is, what Rolex do is it's a smaller etching, 
Yeah. And, and they actually each actually one of different... the crowns made up of small dots yeah. um, rather than just etching out the shape of the crown. And each one of the dots uh, goes at a different level. So it looks more distorted. But I, think, I, think, I honestly think that's done on purpose by the fake companies. It's almost overcompensating to say, look, it is it's real. Got it. Because it's got you it. can see it with your eyes, whereas you're not meant to be able to see it. Because I dot. genuinely thought that that was the thing. Look for that Rolex yeah. crown. Um, but it's there on the fake. I'm completely flabbergasted. And how many it, people man. buy a watch and then open up the case back to see what's inside it? Unless you're us. <laughs> Unless you're us. So, I mean, I do it to most things. But um, obviously, I can't undo that one because it's not our watch, unfortunately. I really wish it was because it's gorgeous. Um, but this one, I undone it. And yeah, you can see. So to, comp to, to make a comparison, I've undone my older pre-maxi uh, Rolex. I mean, the movement's changed now with the newer ones. But you can kind of tell the difference between the finish and the movements it's pretty damn obvious that this is a dog shit dog shit movement and they've just put in it but it's been working i mean i've had it now what a month have you put it on the timograph i haven't put it on the timograph actually i'll do that and i'll post it up onto uh instagram and uh i wonder how bad it will be it even as a serial number it's just <laughs> and it matches the warranty card that's in the box <laughs> i'm just shocked that this is a thing and, and people well, yeah, yeah people are just cheap aren't they some people are scumbags, they like a like people, a fake thing. But the thing is, like I mentioned before, people nowadays will use the excuse, well, I bought the fake because I couldn't buy the real thing. Cause I, I don't know if that's true, actually. I think people will buy fakes. Regardless, year. yeah. And uh, People are cheap. But I think time has moved a lot further on than when you were just in Turkey buying it off of the looky looky man. <laughs> it, it really has, hasn't it? I think the only way you can tell is, number one, have it next to a real one. Number two, spend... Up to a grand on macro lenses. <laughs> <laughs> and then no, free get that case just, back off. Just literally, if you're even if you go to a shop, I mean first of all, if you're buying a Rolex, go to a, a dealer that's very trustworthy. Yeah. If you're not buying new, because we know how difficult it is to buy it new, go to uh, an, a, a very good jewelry shop that's got a really good rating. It's the well reputation. Known. Yeah, as long as it's reputable, you should be okay. But even then, take a loop. Take a loop, have a look, and on Rolexes, yes, you do get the odd blemish. Like on my GMT, the hands aren't completely well finished, but you'll know, like straight just away. Get, yeah, just spend some time with it and see if they've got anything else in stock. Um, just be very careful on eBay as well. I mean, if you do buy on any, anything on eBay, uh, make sure you do it through PayPal so that you're covered and get it straight. To, I still, uh, I still can't believe. I just kind of clicked what you said before. The serial number on that matches what's on the warranty card. Yeah. <laughs> So even box and papers, I mean, box and people yeah, put too much value into box and papers anyway. Um, but yeah, just take it straight to a jeweler or a watchmaker, get them to check it over um, as soon as possible. Yeah, it costs you a little bit much, but I'm a, I am mean, you, you're spending a serious amount of money. These watches are upwards of seven, eight, nine grand. And in, in the Hulk's case, bloody hell, we're well over the 10 grand mark. So 13, 14 now. Yeah, days. I mean, Man. who's going to take that risk? So just buy properly, buy smart, please, because this is actually scary with how close this is getting there. Yeah, so it is terrifying. It genuinely is mm. scary. That is. But yeah, if you uh, if you like that video, uh, please drop us a like, comment below what you actually like. So and comment on. below. Okay, so we're going to have two sets of comments. We're going to have people guessing which one's fake. Right? Yeah. Expect them straight, right? But also, please tell us how you want to see it destroyed, because we've got so many ideas but you lot are more creative than we are, so definitely get it done. And uh, yeah, please subscribe for plenty more content to come. See ya.